YouTube. It's your boy Fishing King Hook City TV. You know I got my main man with me. Hook City. And you know it's about to go down. Guys, welcome to the zoo. We're out here catching animals, man. And today I want to show y'all how we get down catching giant bluegill with 1 16th ounce jig heads. We might even get some corks on these things, man. Let's go, baby. Today we're gonna be uh, utilizing the 7.6 split grip ACC crappie stick, man. It don't matter the reel. Right now we got on the uh, braided line in 10 pound, but this is the important part. Here's the business end, guys. I'm gonna be using a 1 16th ounce jig. Jig head, just a regular 1 16th ounce jig head with a small, probably number four or six hook on it. Um, and we're just putting a little piece of worm on that thing, man. Now look. It's simple. Locate the bed. We'll have a video on it soon. Hold on. Hook City is hooked up and he come off. So let me finish my instructional portion. We're just using a jig head. About an inch of worm, maybe a little less. You're gonna get messy. Something great for the kids, man. I've located the bed. My buoy marker has got it pointed out. All I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna make a cast across the buoy marker long cast i'm gonna get that thing time to fall man so i'm casting in about uh eight to nine foot of water with that one sixteenth ounce jig head i can go one one thousand two one thousand all the way to about ten one thousand if you can't see your line very well um and you should have hit the bottom by ten one thousand then guys i'm gonna hold this thing up like so and i'm just gonna bring him home Bringing that thing home, man. So what I'm doing, guys, I've set myself up to where the, oh, hold on. Just a little old tick, tick, boom. Felt the tick, tick, I went ahead and stopped. This is a smaller fish, wow, look at this. Little red ear. That ain't what we are looking for, guys. Believe me when I tell you, it is some animals. Hey man, that one there might go to the that one there might go to the aquarium at the house, guys. That looks like a hybrid between a bluegill and a, and a red ear. That ain't no straight up red ear. That's a beautiful fish though. Let me explain to y'all what we're doing. We set up on this bluegill bed in a certain way. This bluegill bed is running across this way. All right, it's running across this way. And what I did was I set a buoy marker and I know that if I cast across it, I'll be hitting it at some point coming back. And that's all we're doing, catching those bluegill, man. Watch your work for us. Guys, there it is, that cast. Look here, come on up here with that thing. Giants, man. Giant bluegill. And if you don't know, that thing there is Ooh. some of the best eating you can have. There he went. They went. Okay, now cut up if you want to. I know what that is before I even get here, y'all. Before I even get here, I know what that is. I mean, they just don't quit. <clears throat> Look at the thighs on that prize. Boy, y'all see that? Where'd my hand go? Make my hand disappear, he gonna jump. He gonna jump, wait for it. Make my hand disappear. Guys, that right there is your copper nose bluegill. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. That joker bit me. <laughs> I ain't lying. I knew he was gonna jump. Okay, buddy, okay, okay, okay. Papa, hold on, man. People wanna see you. We thumb bluegill here in Texas, like so. Add, that's a piece of fish right there, Holmes. That's a piece of fish right there, Holmes. Get you some. Now let me show you this. This is the shark tank here at the zoo. Look at that, my goodness. 
Add him in there with his buddy. Oh, they're going crazy. Oh, they're going crazy. Keeping them fresh. I mean, real light bite that time. Look at the bend in that 7.6 though. Look at that fish. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, y'all. Uh, that'll turn you into an addict right there. An addict and a fanatic. I'm back out here, back at it. Look at, man, come on, come on. Boy. And then not only that, guys, but the pretty colors on these fish, man, the different hues, right? He got purple, black, a little peach or copper. Look at that, look at there. Ooh, ooh. Come on, somebody. It don't get no better than that. That's a pretty fish, man. That's a pretty fish, and he's delish. Mm. Wipe my hands off, give me some more of that action. All right, guys, moving on to this next one. I just want to give y'all a, a quick representation of what they look like, what the beds look like on side imaging. As you can see on the left side of my screen there, we have what looks to be little saucers, right? And if you notice, those little saucers have dots in them. Those dots are representations of fish. And knowing what we know about bluegill, bluegill make beds. The beds are in about 14 foot of water or maybe a little less. Off to the left, it goes towards the bank. So they're probably in about 12 foot of water, 10 foot of water. On the left side of my boat, <clears throat> we've marked it with two buoys. Um, and we're about to fish that, man. See if we can get some of those dots to disappear off of those little circles which are beds we should be seeing bluegill here in one second we've got two two buoys set up and the bed should be in between those two again we're casting across the bed letting it hit the bottom bringing it back slow and if we can find any with a little bit of aggression in their heart protecting those nests those beds they ought to bite that. Dad hooked up again. Banging on him. See him come up, y'all. Now he's gonna fight him to the end. I can guarantee you that. There you go. There you go. Did you do anything any different than what I explained earlier? No. That's it, man. Slow roll it in. Slow roll. Slow roll till you hit that pole. And he is going to hit it, y'all. He is going to hit it. Ooh. Hey, man, that dude on fire over there. He done took his hat off and it just done went crazy. Oh, he working that pole. Is that a bluegill you got? Or a gillzilla? Got your fish though. Let me hold that for you. Get him on hook and then we'll, we'll work with it. That blue kid. Can you get your hand around him? Golly. No. Huh? I can't see how that he in there. How much you should sell bait. And that's how he used to go catch him. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Joe, I never see. You used to be able to buy wigglers off of Come on. You used to be able to buy Wigglers off of uh, Will Barger. Yeah, that old man. Mm-hmm. He raised them himself. What you got? You got a man or just one of them? He, listen, he, he doing some water aerobics. God almighty. Hold on, I got, I got to show them that. That pretty blondie. Yeah. yeah. That's a good fish, Dad. Oh. Yeah, you do. <laughs> do you want him? Gone for good. You did now, now that hook's still in him. <laughs> yeah, I 
I'm trying my best to lose them then. Yeah, close but no cigar. Got that, Dad. We doubled up. I switched over to the. Uh, I switched over to the court. Dad went back to the uh, tight line, and that was the that was the right line. Hand size. Let's go. Come on, Dad. What you doing? Jump, jumping on hand side. Hand side. Yes, sir. Hand side. Let me see. You quick working now. Oh yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh oh. Hold you. Hold your head. Hold your head up. Tell him pick his head up. I better loosen. I better loosen that. They don't want to take a picture. That's the problem. They don't, today ain't picture day for them. But guess what? We're gonna line them all up when we get done. Win all. Oh, Lord. Comment section. Who wants to come out here and catch these bluegill with me and Dad? I want to know. Since you're working. Oh, Lord. I couldn't even get the camera back on fast enough. Let me move this umbrella, man. Look, it. It, it was getting hot. That's why we got we had the umbrella, guys. It got real hot, just like that grease here in the couple. Let me. I got to see the fish. You got to show him here now, boy. Look at yonder. All right, this dad's box. The green cork. And listen, I'm I'm I'm. Good lord, I'm dropping it down there, real close to that bed. Those fish aren't having to come up real far to get that bait. So they're not sinking that that cork. They're just making it do like that. You'll see on this next one. That was two I had like that. Maybe we'll get one to sink it if he's mad enough. If he's mad enough, what he'll do, he'll he'll grab it and run off. Who laid it over? Okay. All right, guys. So there's another one. I shouldn't have missed that fish. I tried to show you. I wanted y'all to see what was going on. So the fish grabbed it but he didn't go anywhere, he swam up. So on a negative bite, instead of it sinking, the barbro just lay over on his side. And that's exactly what happened just then. And I paused to try to let y'all see what was going on. And I actually missed the fish. He spit it before I set the hook. God dang, I got it in some grass. Shucks. Fish on it? <laughs> yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. I want to try to keep it tight enough. I'm going to attempt something, y'all. Something ain't never been done before. <laughs> something ain't never been done before. We hand lining bluegill because I can't, I don't want to lose this fish. Hand lining bluegill. Who's done it? Who's done it? We're bringing him in, y'all. Oh, boy. Okay. We were wrapped around the pole. That's the situation we had. Oh, yeah. So now, I don't want to. I got to let it slide in between my hands every now and again because I don't want to. I got to act as if it's a drag by letting it slide in between my hands. Never before seen. Look at her. 
Look at her. Ooh. Magnum. Handline bluegill. First time. That boy bad, ain't it? Handline. Handline and bluegill. I got a whole mess. I'ma let him flop. Get all that get all that energy out of his system because he going to the live well here in a minute. I got a big mess I need to take care of, guys. All right, y'all, I need to know in the comment section. If y'all enjoyed the hand line, hand line bluegill, let me know. Cause let me tell you something, guys. Let me show you something. When you can hand line that hand side, look at that. Where my hand go? Disappearing axe with the bluegill. Grab you one of these bluegill, when he takes his bluegill and you, your hand will disappear. Put him in there with the rest of the bosses. That's amazing. Welcome to the zoo. aggressive love it guys these are not your ordinary bluegill these are not and let me show you why pull that thing up out of there I'm gonna keep him hooked so cuz I know he gonna jump. look at that man I mean average 9 and 10 inch bluegill man these are these are like between half pound all the way up to a pound. Matter of fact, I got, I got the scale. I'm gonna show you that. I bet you that's at least a half pound bluegill, y'all. Averaging. Open your mouth. They want to see. Open your mouth. They want to see. Watch this. Look at her, man. Three quarter pound. Point seven nine. That's almost a one pound bluegill, man. And that's on average, guys. That's on average. Upwards to one pound. Bluegill. Get you some. Yes, sir. If he hand size, he pan size. He got to go in. He got to go. Guys, I don't know about y'all, but it's just something about being out here. In the outdoors, man. What some people will call easy fishing, but I'm gonna tell you what, the fishing has not been easy today, man. Am I lying, Dad? No, it's been tough today. Huh? Talk to us. It's been tough today. It's been a little tough, man, yeah. but listen, we have enough in the box, and so we'll, we'll settle up here in a little bit, show y'all what we got. Uh, we're gonna try to catch just a few more before I have to get on out of here, man. We're gonna try to make it back home. But, uh, man, I'm, I'm thankful, number one, uh, to God for allowing us this day, and two, to be out here with my old man. Look at him. Y'all want to know why the channel is named Hook City? That's the guy you need to talk to right there. Mr. Hook City himself, man. That guy right there took me fishing when I was five years old, and I've been hooked ever since. The rest is history, baby. Now you have Hook City TV. Look, man. I can't say enough. I'm just thankful. You ever just been thankful? Out here enjoying myself? Even though the fishing is tough, man. We got some bluegill, so I can't complain. But I hope y'all are understanding, man. Sometimes it's the simple things and sometimes it's the hard stuff. Sometimes you gotta keep switching. I've used jigs, 
I've used uh, live worms. We've we've put it under slip corks. Um, man, we're doing all kinds of stuff to get these fish to bite on these beds. Why they're not active as we think they should be at this time of year, I don't know. But we're catching fish, y'all. So we're not gonna we're not gonna cry about it. We're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna hit this highway. <laughs>